Join U.S. criminals as we uncover the gripping tales of four wanted criminals realizing they've been found. Subscribe, like, and share our videos to be part of the pursuit for justice. If you like this video, press 1. On May 31, 2021, immediately refused to comply when the officer attempted to initiate a traffic stop, having other plans in mind. Lore not only refused to pull over, but he also briefly drove against traffic in the northbound lane to enter a parking lot before exiting onto another street. The officer pulled up beside Lore, but when he attempted to stop him again, it didn't seem like Lore was ready to cooperate. Initially, it seemed like Lord was going to pull over, but then the motorcycle rapidly accelerated down Oak Avenue. Little did he know, this would turn out to be the gravest decision of his life. While the officer was informing dispatch of the end of the pursuit, Lore's motorcycle collided with a vehicle at the intersection of Deakey Street. Unfortunately, Lore was ejected from the motorcycle in the crash and was later pronounced dead at the scene. However, this marks the onset of suspects making foolish choices. On July 13, 2022, 18-year-old Tyon Parker, 19-year-old James Adams, and two 17-year-old boys were speeding at 50 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour zone in Glendale, Wisconsin. However, when an officer attempted to pull them over, it became apparent that they had no intention of stopping. Even when another officer deployed stop sticks, the teen's vehicle refused to stop because of the speed at which they were traveling. Consequently, their vehicle crashed, and the teenagers suddenly did something unexpected. During the escape, several items were dropped from the vehicle, including a loaded firearm and several bills of money that scattered across the traffic lanes. However, it wasn't long before the inevitable occurred. He's still there! He's coming back this way! Show me your hands! Put your f***ing hands up right now! Walk towards me! Seven. 744, he's with me. I got him at gunpoint. Hey. 
So I don't like motherfuckers taking me. Here I come, y'all. You'll grab my jacket for me. Oh, Alright, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay, don't do that thing. Come on. We just the one. shirt, oh. Adidas uh, oh. pants. All the teenagers were eventually apprehended and taken into custody, but we quickly grasped the reasons behind their flight and the sense of entitlement they had developed. Stand all over. Roll over on your side, bud. No. Yes. I can't breathe. Okay, roll over on your side. I'll get you up so you can breathe. No. You don't want to be on your stomach, man. No. Roll to your side. Help me. Okay, got it? Roll to your side, man. Get up on your butt so you can breathe, okay? Up on your butt. Uh, we got another one in custody. Can you stand up? My hands are going to poke. Do you have anything on you that's going to stick me, poke me, prick me? That's one. Any weapons? Where's the third? Ready? One, two, three. I'm going to pull your pants up. I'm going to pull your pants up. Where? Where? Here? I ain't got no tip, bro. Where's the clip? You throw it out the car? It's in the car. There's my sister. You wasn't wrong. Oh, really? They do it. How old are you? How old are you? They do it. How old are you? I'm 17. 17? Okay. Out, out, out. Do it slowly, man. Damn. What's up with y'all? Why are you grabbing me like this? Because you're just running, dude. Stop fucking around. Bro. Stop twisting. Hey, stop twisting. I'm twisting. I'm you are twisting. You're holding my arm. And I'm about to put you on the ground. You're holding my arm. That's the hard I have. Bro, I have bone issues. Chill. Stop bro. twisting. Stop twisting. I'm not twisting. You, you are. My arm. Keep your hands behind What's your back. What's your name? What's your name? Simon. All right. Stop twisting. All right. Where's the sheriff's at? Right here. Where's the Where's the Where's the sheriff? There's nothing in my back pocket. Don't check my back pocket. Yeah, yeah. You're under arrest. I don't get no f So we're checking all your pockets. 10 4 3 for the last two at Wade Manor. I have, I, don't, I got whole bone issues, bro. Okay, that's fine. Okay, then stop grabbing my. Hey. Then stop twisting. Stop moving away. It seemed like that when you were running. Oh, you seemed to run just fine. Later, the officers found out that the driver of the vehicle, Thailand, had a suspended driver's license and two active warrants one for possession of a dangerous weapon, which was a non-felony warrant, and another for being party to a robbery of a financial institution, which was a felony warrant. However, even after being arrested, Tyan chose to act entitled and pretentious. Tyler, come on out, we're gonna get you a ride, man. We'll get you our station, maybe uh, if you need some medical stuff, we can get you looked at, all right? Did I do a good job searching you? Yeah. I did, what I miss? Well, I think Huh? Yeah, like a, like, a, like a nail or something. You got a nail? In which one? On the right side. No, he said he left his shoes in the car. Um, did I miss anything? Oh, no. Well, do you have anything on you? You shouldn't. That you still do? Uh, my foot, though. No, no, no. Could you look to see if it's like a... Like, well, like here, why don't you sit down? Which foot? Your right? Yeah. Let's see. Like the nail in the... Like, right under the front big tub. 
Up here? Yeah, right there. There's nothing... There's oh. nothing I feel. Alright. Devontae's gonna pull over. Yeah, he's gonna pull over for a second. I didn't miss nothing? No. You got any dope or nothing? No. Which gun's yours? I don't got a gun. Oh. Do you have a gun? Uh, I have one in there. I grabbed the backup. He's gonna pull over here so you don't have to walk, so why don't you sit down in a second? Or do you wanna sit on the curb? No, because it's gonna be hard for me to get out. Alright, why don't you sit back over here? Which is gonna run you back to our station, back to the, uh, and then we can get you the management. Oh, that's your chunder sword. Alright. Hey, if you could log that, uh, that uh, Dude, you were running from me like five like minutes ago. Oh, no, but just start to cramp up? I ain't just. Which side do you want, Devante? Other one? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna have one easy back in the jail. Bro, I think my ankle's bad. Dude, you were just hopping fast running from me. <laughs> How are you that bad already? James Adams, 19, got a citation for resisting arrest. One of the 17-year-olds faced charges for resisting arrest and carrying a concealed weapon without a permit. The other 17-year-old was charged with resisting arrest, carrying a concealed weapon without a permit, and possessing THC while armed. Thankfully, nobody got hurt, but the suspects are facing legal consequences. On October 23, 2022, 29-year-old Ashley Stahlsberg was driving in Bangor, Wisconsin, when a sheriff's deputy randomly ran her plate and found that her driving privileges had been suspended for failing to pay a fine. However, when the deputy attempted to pull her over, Ashley refused to stop leading to a high-speed chase where she outran the pursuing officer, driving at 124 miles per hour. Oh 10 four is still driving, Wisconsin plate, Adam Lincoln Young, 8527, Adam Lincoln Young, 8527. We're still on Big Creek Road, it's driving through the East Ditch right now. <laughs> It was not unexpected when she crashed into a ditch due to her uncontrollable speed, but even this did not stop her from fleeing from the police at an insanely high speed until her vehicle got totally disabled. Time for it, smoking. Driver, let me see your hands! Step out of the vehicle. Sounds like, uh, Get out of the vehicle. Drive all over the road and into the ditch. I'm not really sure at this point. Get out of the vehicle. <laughs> Turn around and face away from me. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. I'll explain it to you once I get your custody. Raise your hands. Put your hands above your head. Do it now. Pull up. Pull your sweatshirt up with your hands. One twenty-two. What about her? Turn around. All right. What? Yeah. I tried to stop you in the cross county. You were going hundred on sixteen. Yes, you were. Keep your hands up. However, if you thought her disabled vehicle would stop her from escaping the police, nothing could have prepared you for what she did next. Stay out of the car. No, get away from me. Get away from me. I do not feel safe. I do not have to stay with you. You are not in Monroe County, huh? I was trying to stop you. You were not. Yes, I was. My lights and sirens. Get away from me. Number 117, she's taken. Oh, I'm on foot northbound. Get away from me! One seventeen, she's running through the east ditch cornfield right now. I can still hear. One seventeen, I copy. I believe the subject is going to be the registered owner. She's continuing slowly through the cornfield, I believe she's still moving. Ashley mentioned she wasn't comfortable, then promptly bolted and disappeared into the cornfield, seemingly willing to evade any repercussions for her actions. 
Shortly thereafter, additional police officers arrived, and a perimeter was established in an attempt to locate Ashley. I saw her in Bangor and tried to turn around on her because I saw she was suspended. As soon as she got to 18, around 16, she was flying. So I finally did the same direction radar, she went 71. So I tried to speed up, and as soon as I started speeding up, she started speeding up. I was going 124. And she was going over 100 and then did on a big creek. And by the time I caught up to her, she was in the ditch. I don't know where she would last be. Somewhere in this area would be my best guess. We're figuring out whether or not they, we got a positive ID on her, so it depends on what they want to do, if they want to apprehend her. We'll probably them, yeah. get her walking sooner or later. Why don't, we got a phone number for her, why don't you try calling her? Okay. And not be completed as the call party is temporarily unavailable. Please try again later. I think she turned her phone off. It says it can't be complete. In is it in there? Oh. What we'll do is we'll just obviously patrol through here and when she calls for a ride or whatever, some new vehicles coming through here, I guess we'll see. Despite utilizing thermal imaging and night vision, the officers were still unable to locate her, which makes it incredibly unbelievable that someone would go to such extents just to evade the police. The reason behind Ashley's fear of the police was soon uncovered. She, you know, I, you know if she's a doper or what? Yeah, she's a doper. Meth. Know, meth is her preference. So. She's relatively new in the dope game, though. I think she's only been doing dope for a year, year and a half, maybe. Best of my knowledge. Okay. So. What the hell is she? I don't even know. I didn't know. She's uh, born in 92. Yeah. We only have, yeah, we only have the one booking record with her. Sparta's only got her once, but I've never gotten her. She, I think she might have been involved in Merkel's pursuit with that motorcycle. A woman named Ashley, who had previously been involved with drugs and likely had drugs on her, ran away from the authorities. About 16 hours later, a sheriff's deputy was on his way to find Ashley at her place when he noticed a car passing by with a woman driving who seemed to be avoiding eye contact. This raised the deputy's suspicion so he checked the license plates and realized that the car belonged to the address where he was going to find Ashley. The driver looked very similar to Ashley's previous jail booking photo, so the deputy decided to pull the car over for a traffic stop. Hi, Sergeant Oswald from the Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping is for traveling 63 into 55. Going 60? Do you know what the speed limit is here? I can't hear you. Do you mind stepping out of the vehicle for me? Step out of the vehicle. What's that? You are stepping out. 9 to 17. You want to head this way. You do have to step out. I know my rights. I've done nothing wrong. Okay. Well, not only is your speed one reason why I'm stopping you, but I believe uh, La Crosse County wants to talk to you. So I need you to step out of the vehicle now. No. You do need to step out. Yes. Step out of the vehicle. Really, Step out of the vehicle. You are under arrest. Get out. Right now. Step out of the vehicle now. Don't be reaching in your purse. Step out of the vehicle now. Step out. Little girl, what am I gonna do to you? Hey, that ball turn around. Okay, so I gotta give the warning here. Right there. Gotta give the warning that uh, if you go into a jail. I have nothing on me. Okay, I'm just giving the warning like I do for everybody, and then if we find anything illegal, any yeah, type of contraband, it's a anything. felony. Okay. I'm f***ing clean. I've been clean for a f***ing week. Good. I'm gonna and I'm going to treatment here. tomorrow. Ashley was arrested and hoped mentioning her upcoming treatment appointment would help, but she was taken to La Crosse County Jail and charged with felony bail, jumping and fleeing an officer. She also had two pending cases with active bonds. Eventually, she was released on a $1,000 signature bond, but still owes up to $1,600 in citations. This highlights the recklessness often seen during traffic stops, as seen in another case. On November 29, 2022, he was behind the wheel of a black vehicle, lacking license plates, with windows tinted so dark they could block out the sun. 
He was speeding through a mall parking lot in Wausau, Wisconsin. An officer spotted his vehicle and opted to pull him over. Instead of complying, Winzo ran a stoplight and rather than stopping, he accelerated. If anyone's by Watertown Plank, he's going to be stuck in traffic here. 251, copy 28. Uh, he lost the front driver's side wheel, looks like. Considering the velocity he was traveling at and the prevailing weather conditions, the officer contemplated terminating the pursuit. However, that's precisely when the anticipated event occurred. I am pursued. He just had a car crash. Watertown Plank. Winzo eventually collided with another vehicle at an intersection, narrowly missing a pedestrian before coming to a halt. Just when you thought he was about to give up, Winzo made one final attempt to escape. Get on the car! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! On the ground! On the ground now! Put your hands out! Hands out to the side! Do not move! Put your head down! Put your head down! Down! Fortunately, there were no injuries during the accident. However, even after placing him in handcuffs, it became clear that the suspect was not going to cooperate with the officers. Yeah, I see right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop moving. Stop Please. moving, dog. Stop moving. I'm sorry. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop moving. I'm not sorry. Put your I'm leg sorry. down. Put I'm your sorry. leg down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Please, can I get stop. a walk? No. Please. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I gotta go get my girlfriend. Stop! Stop. Okay. Relax. Stop resisting. Stop resisting your body. Stop. Stop. I'm not trying. Please, dude. Relax. 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 Please, 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 help me out. Please, please, just help me out. Please. No. Dude, listen. I'm not. I'm not resisting any of this. Please, please. Stop. Relax. Stop touching your body. Relax, man. After much resistance, Winzo was finally placed in the police vehicle. However, that was when he sprung another surprise. Please, 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 please Please, 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 not. My man. please, hold on, wait. Not listen to what's please. going on. Get in the car. Dude, can you please get please. in the car? Dude, yeah. hold on, please. Wait, hold on, please. My man. I'm not out here. I don't get you like in the car. Dude, please, please. Get you like in the car. Hold on, please. Please, just listen to me. Get in the car. 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 Get in the car.
prompting the officers to request a checkup on him. He's, just, he's pretty excited. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not too sure if anything's... Like right he, he, seems, he seems excited enough to be on something, but okay. I'll let you guys check him out. Dude, that guy almost got hit, he was saying. <laughs> Dude. And the only reason I kept it going is because traffic was so bad, I didn't think you should be able to get through. And well, and then when you said you lost the tire. Are you ready to check him out? Yeah, you guys yeah. are ready. You guys are ready? Yeah. All right. Nothing. Please listen to me. Relax. Please, please me and you are going to talk later, okay? Please. Nah, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Talk to them. them. Okay, talk to them. We don't just want to hear I didn't get that far. Okay. I'll be honest okay. with you. Okay. What's your first name? Sir, what's your first name? Please. We're going to listen to you, but we need to know who you are. Can I take five minutes? Please, we are listening to What's your first name? Yeah, please. This is What's your last name? I don't know. What's your date of birth? I don't know. I don't know. We're listening. Come here. I'm on the way. Dude, man, I'm on the way to get my wife to work. Please. Please, can y'all please just. I don't have no feelings. I don't have no misdemeanors. Nothing, dude. I swear to God, man. Just talk I just, to me. I, okay. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm not scared, mad. Man. I'm not mad. Man, I'm scared. Dude. I just want to make sure you're okay. Dude, okay. I'm okay. Dude, I just want to go get my wife from work, dude. I swear to God, dude. Dude, you guys listen. Listen, please listen. Please listen, please listen, please listen dude, man. Please. Hold on, man, man. Wait. I swear to God, dude. Yo, please just listen. Dude, please just listen to me. I'm not cold. I'm not none of that. Yo, I'm not, I'm trying to not, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to, I'm not trying to resist or none of that. Yo, please just listen to me, dude. Oh, man. Please. Get your finger, okay? Get finger Okay, can I just get Please don't take me to jail, man. I'm going to have to jump yeah. over you then. Right. I'm okay. You don't have to flash that light in my eye. That light is white. Can y'all please, please don't let me go to jail, dude, man. Please, dude, I'm begging from the bottom of my heart, dude. Huh? I swear to God, please. Yeah, that's right. I'm begging right. from the bottom I mean, of my heart, dude. Yeah, yeah. And kind of I'm begging from the that. bottom of my heart. During the checkup, an officer observed Winzo's glassy and bloodshot eyes. Combined with his inability to complete sentences, this only heightened their suspicion. It soon became clear when officers searched his car and found something. For what I found in the car? No. Ready? No. If you say nothing, I'm going to... <laughs> a tiny little bit of weed and an open bottle of booze. <laughs> That's it? Yep. He's in there, Frank. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I completely forgot about that. I saw it right away. <laughs> forgot about it. Son of a Hardy, hardy. Yeah, open that side door. Spitting chicklets, man. Dude, my gun's in my hand. I literally... Like Winzo, who was found to have a breath alcohol content of 0.167, more than double the legal limit, was discovered to be out on bond for charges including battery, disorderly conduct, and operating a firearm while intoxicated. He faced additional charges including second-degree reckless endangerment, fleeing from an officer, and misdemeanor bail jumping, as well as citations for driving while intoxicated. His cash bond was set at $10,000. On December 31st, 2022, in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, a 30-year-old named Derek Triplett led police on a chase in a stolen black car. During the pursuit, he dropped off a man and a woman who were quickly arrested. Derek continued to flee, speeding past another officer who tried to pull him over. At first, Derek seemed like he would stop but then he made a reckless decision, making matters worse.
Damn it! Damn it! Despite the blaring sirens and flashing lights on the police vehicles, Derek continued his reckless driving, ignoring the officers as he sped through residential neighborhoods, putting residents at risk. However, it wasn't long before the inevitable occurred. After numerous tries to halt the vehicle, Derek finally veered into a ditch. While attempting to maneuver out, he lost control and collided head-on with another deputy's car. Immediately following the crash, Derek grasped the severity of his situation and surrendered. He was taken into custody, where he began to confess the reasons for his attempt to flee. I'll have a gun. Where's the gun? gun. Are you injured at all? No, I'm not focused, man. Okay, do you need an ambulance, though? I'm okay, as far as I should. Okay, you don't need an ambulance? No. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. Sure. Yeah, you're good. Since I got a little bit of a... Okay, he doesn't need an ambulance, he's good. I'm very tripping, man. I don't even... Okay, what are you tripping on? What do you take? They gave me something I've been trying to... Okay, we'll get you an ambulance, okay? I've been trying to focus. Hey, what's your name, bud? Derek Triplett. Can you write this down? Derek? Derek Triplett. He said he's high on something they gave him. Something, but he doesn't... He know smells what. like booze. He smells like booze, but his eyes are During the arrest, Derek confessed that he couldn't concentrate due to something he had taken earlier. Subsequently, both he and the deputy were transported to the hospital, where they received treatment for their minor injuries. Ultimately, Derek was charged with felony first-degree recklessly endangering safety, two counts of operating without consent, two counts of vehicle fleeing and eluding an officer, and fleeing an officer causing injury and property damage. He was also charged with misdemeanor counts of bail jumping and operating while revoked, with his cash bond set at $25,000. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video to give us more motivation to create even more compelling content